Hello my beautiful friends and family. This reading is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon and Rising for the next seven days. So I'm going to shuffle with you guys and see what's going on. What you need to know for your highest and your best for the next seven days. Okay, so what's going on with Sagittarius for the next seven days, please? Tell me about Sagittarius for the next seven days. What do they need to know? Sagittarius, sun, moon, and rising. What is going on with them for the next seven days? Sagittarius, sun, moon, and rising. We have the moon coming out and we also have the ace of wands. The moon is Pisces, Cancer energy. Ace of wands, Aries, Sag, Leo. Okay, so we have the hangman coming out. More Pisces energy. Big Pisces energy here. Hmm. So I do feel like you're going to get some sort of like inspiration or there's going to be some part, sort of like aha, epiphany, light bulb moment going on within the next seven days in regards to something that's been hidden from you. Okay, I do feel like you are going through an awakening with this next seven days. Maybe gain a new perspective. New perspective. Okay, let's see. Ten of Swords reverse to the moon. So I feel like you could be healing within this next seven days. Tell me about the moon and the ten of swords reversed. Tell me about the moon and the ten of swords reversed. The four of swords. With the moon, there's some something only you would know. Okay, so like the moon, something happened here, here intuitively, it's like you're kind of going through a deep dive and really healing yourself within the next seven days. You're really coming to terms with your thoughts, with how you feel, letting go of negativity. But really, like, there's something with this moon. There's something that was unknown that you're really, like, coming to terms with. Um, really praying about, meditating, thinking about. Can you give me clarity on the moon? Can you give me clarity on the moon? We have the five of pentacles. So, um, you could be getting, um, <laughs> some of you are praying over your finances here. Um, some of you have been distanced from someone. There, someone has been left out in the cold here. So I feel like you're trying to come to terms with that. You've left someone behind. Someone left you behind. Okay, let's clarify the Ace of Wands. Let's clarify the Ace of Wands for Sagittarius, okay? Let's clarify the Ace of Wands for Sagittarius. We have the Nine of Pentacles reversed. So, some of you, um, Sagittarius, I feel Give me one more for this Ace of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. Tell me about the Ace of Wands and Nine of Pentacles. 
someone made a wrong decision here. We have cancer energy. Did you make a wrong decision to... I feel like you let go of somebody. I feel like you let go of somebody until this week you're realizing that was not the right decision. And you are having having a major awakening here in regards to like your independence, in regards to your stability, in regards to life, what you want. Clarify this Pisces energy. Clarify this Pisces energy. Clarify the Pisces energy. We have the devil. Okay. You're really releasing, like I said before, you're releasing negativity this week. You're releasing unhealthy attachments. Okay, you're releasing the ego this week. You're letting go of your ego and you're really like thinking for yourself. It's time for you to think for yourself. Um, we have the seven of wands reverse. It's time for you to, to come out of any stagnancy or blockages. It's time for you to be consistent with yourself and what you want. And we have the Fool. Okay, this week is about stepping into new levels, new beginnings, new timelines, and having faith. Okay, what are you stressing about? It's like... I feel like you guys tried to move away from something, someone. I feel like you guys tried to move away from something or someone, but like you ran into a new devil. <laughs> new level, new devil. Um, like I said, you made the wrong decision with, with whoever it's like you left out in the cold. Because now you're left, now you feel left out in the cold. Now you feel at a loss. You made the wrong decision. So, your perspective is changing in regards to like relationships, but also in regards to how you feel, how you're showing up, how you're showing up individually, and how you're showing up in um, relationships. So. What angel, god, or goddess is supporting Sagittarius right now? What angel, god, or goddess is supporting Sagittarius right now? I do feel like you're mastering yourself this week. Needing to right your wrongs. Needing to make better decisions that are in alignment with your, with your morals, what you believe. Okay, needing to be disciplined. Tell me about Sagittarius. Tell me about Sagittarius. We have Angel of Psychic Ability. Your intuitive and psychic abilities are strong at present. Um, you could definitely have Pisces in your chart. Okay, also Cancer. I have Cancer energy here. Telepathy is real. Tell me about Sagittarius. What chakra is Sagittarius working with this week? What chakra is Sagittarius working with this week? We 
We have wisdom and victim. Okay, I feel like you're you may be playing the victim card here. Major heart chakra activations. Okay, so this could definitely be in regards to a lover and also about your own self-love. Um, but you're gaining wisdom over this like victim mentality. Okay, so I do feel like someone is the victim here. I do feel like you may have been playing games, but you're gaining wisdom about that this week. Okay, so that's what I have for you, Sag. I don't know what I'm going to title this, but I love you guys, and I hope you have a blessed week. Bye.